Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. This is where I prepare most of the gardening stuff. Right here. I soak the seeds, sometimes for a week or two. When they start sprouting, I'll take some. I'll put them in these planters. I haven't used this kind yet. We just found this in one of the local stores for like three fifty. That says five dollars on there, so that's a good sale. I think there's seven dollars on eBay. I just ordered three of them <laughs> before I found that. But um, this is a little meter protecting the soil moisture. I just lost a whole bunch of plants due to I think the little bugs, aphids, whatever you call them. Um, so I'm gonna get some. Uh, Bug zappers in for the indoor garden. They got lots of seeds. There's cucumbers there. They're coming in all the time. I got different seeds coming in from all over the place. And I did just learn if they're trees, you need to put them in the refrigerator. There's onions right there. You probably can't see it. Been in there for a few days. A couple of them have sprouted. They'll get planted today. But yeah, go ahead, join. Welcome to the channel. Please uh, subscribe and click that little bell. Here's some other little planters that I got. Most of my stuff is uh, eBay. I probably paid $1,500 on there this year. Here's a hundred little planter cups to fit in the big black trays if you don't use this. And this one has a cover on it. It's pretty cool. I'm going to take you upstairs to the garden. Well here you go. The indoor garden. We take care of two fans. I only have a couple grow lights to mow it. I'm going to shut this light off. So, there's three grow lights over there. This is the Cheapy Joe. There's the little cups I was just talking about. So, the other hundred is down there. You probably can't see those little flies in there, but they're about to go. I found this family farm and home. It's called Fly Buster for your barns or whatever, but. I don't know if it's working yet. I haven't seen anything in there in three days to get rid of these little flies. So I have very, uh, I got a few carnivorous plants, the Venus flytrap, and that one died. There's a little bit of green in there, but it, I hope it takes. And I got these two carnivorous in yesterday, another eBay product. So yeah, this uh, tomato plant is probably as big as me if I stand it all the way up. It's huge. Peppers back there, they're probably three foot tall. Got some nice kale coming in back there. But yeah, I'm learning plants like this. This is a blueberry. It's on sale. Everything's on sale. It's autumn. They're trying to sell everything. So get out there and, and get it. So I'm going to keep this one indoors. And we'll see what happens. Now the pineapples that I get. I keep the top. And this one turned yellow. That one did the same thing. But I was able to save the top. There it is. Oh look at that. Oh, that pineapple plant's going to get planted today. But yeah, that one turned, that belonged to this plant, and it turned yellow. And already, it sprouted a new one right here. You, you might be able to see the little one there. That's, that was the old stem to the other pineapple that died. But we got a new one coming up, so I guess I get one at a time. So I'm hoping what it is, not enough light. But I just got in eight more lights. That one was eBay. It says it's 100 watt. 
And I have a watt meter for all the solar panels and everything, and it only produces 43 watts, or it uses 43 watts. So I don't know if it's emanating 100 watts of light per se, but yeah, it's only 43.6 maybe is what it's using. So, But anyway, if you get on here and you're, you're playing around on your YouTube all the time, this is Hidden Harvest Grill Lights, and I'll get you the link. I got it from him, and he had been into the grow lights for, I think, 30-some years, and this is his. He now has lights being produced. He got it to the point, I believe, he did the scientific measure. That's as close as you can get to the UV rays of the sun, if I'm speaking correctly. But Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. Go there and check it out. He's got an indoor garden as well. But he put his in the basement. My basement gets too cold in the winter, and I'm not going to play that. I'm not insulating down there. But anyway, yeah, some of these, like go to certain stores, you can get oregano and mint and such like that. And I got a couple of those. But they say products like this you get from the nursery is full of everything they can pump into it to make it grow faster. And it's like a like on steroids. Then you buy it and you bring it home and it doesn't do so well. But some of them are doing really good. The blueberry has been here maybe a month and it's doing really good. And the two pineapples, I bought those originally and they're doing okay. And I forget what that is. But I got a kiwi over there. I found strawberries in the yard. There's some lettuce and such. It's doing really, really good. I haven't produced any food yet, per se. Oh, I don't know what that is. Maybe. Maybe I got a pepper coming in. There's some more up top. That'll be the first. And that'll be really cool. Now I got lettuce, but but there's some corn. I was feeding the, the, the squirrels some corn, and these come up in the yard. So I decided to put it out here, grow my own. But um, I'm living and I'm learning. So, goji berry. It's a goji berry. That's a super fruit, just like a, just like the blueberries. So, I just got eight lights in, but I'm gonna cut this right here, and I'll show you the grow lights on another day. Thanks for watching, and have a nice sunny day.